Hi everybody, welcome back to Sibelius 7 lessons here at educator.com. Editing notes. In this lesson we will learn about editing notes and selected selections and sections. Uh, we will talk about a few other functions and tools that you could find on your keypad for advanced scores. We also learn how to transpose sections and the whole score as well cover some of the basic editing options in Sibelius 7. Edit mode. When we select something on our score page without an input line, that's an edit mode. Technically, if you just go select a section or select a note, that will be uh, edit mode. I can command plus to uh, zoom in a little bit and there are a couple of uh, editing options that you already know that you could change the notes uh, diatonically up or down with your arrow up and down arrow or command up and down will go with the cluster that would be like a, the octaves but another thing that we can apply holding down on Macintosh control up arrow will move the notes chromatically. Also, if you hold down shift and try page up and down, you would go chromatically too. So either control as a modifier key, up and down arrow, or holding down shift with the page up or page down, you could uh, go in between the chromatic notes. We can uh, toggle on and off the ties. We talked about that before. If we have a note selected, enter will toggle on and off the tie. And we can build up the chords. We kind of mentioned that before too. If you choose a note and if you start with the alpha keyboard, adding notes uh, by the thirds and fourths, you build up the chords at the top. And by holding down shift, you would build the same chords opposite direction down below the first note with the intervals and if you remember that intervals will start for the last note that you entered if it's the root note G so we're gonna enter three to get the B and under uh, third at the top to get the D those kind of things we covered all these 